Welcome back to Ampas Tech. In this video, we'll be looking at the security options that will help you secure your Facebook account from being hacked. So let's begin. For that, you just need to go to facebook.com click on this little arrow here settings and privacy and settings if you look at on the left side pane you will see security and login options here so it says all the security options it gives the list of all the security options that you can control okay so if you look at here it is showing my logins and my devices and the locations so from here you can identify any devices as you can see here device type unknown i've got two devices uh, unknown devices logged in with my facebook credentials sometimes this happens when you try to log in from your second accounts on your phone android phone we all have these uh, uh, dual apps on Android phones these days. So this happens when you try to log in with this Also, if you try to log on with any application this happens. So I'm just trying to Log out from these two devices. So if you found any such uh, Devices in your logged in devices Just remove them. So Nokia 8.1 is my phone Mac is my computer and uh, HMD Google Yeah, this is Nokia's only and the Mac again so you can also see uh, the time when it was logged in the last time the device okay so yep coming to the login session login section i'm sorry you can find here change password and save your login information so change password is when you feel like you to change your password if you feel like if it is a weaker password uh, yeah, if you have been getting this alert or if you have been suspecting some hacker logins some uh, some other suspected logins from other devices and other locations It is better to change your password as soon as possible So the second thing is save your login information. So my browser this browser Is agreed to go for save for Facebook if I try to log in from another browser It will automatically alert me so I have this browser, you won't need to enter the password next time you log into the browser. I saved my login information here and you can save your login information from di different devices and different browsers like this. So if you don't want to have this information on the browser, you can simply click on this and remove the account. So it, it also shows the devices that I have, like see, remove save login information facebook on android on an android 10 so i have my login information saved on my nokia phone as well so that is what is showing here so and coming to this two-factor authentication we all know about this two-factor authentication it actually asks asks you for otp or another security code to log in other than the password to make sure the security is more secure than it is Okay, so coming to this user authentication factor, you will need to log into this. It might ask you for the password. It asked me for the password previously, but I have saved the my login, right? So it is not asking my password now. So you can just log in, put in a password here and come to this page. Uh, I have a two methods for the security method, two factor authentication method. One is the Facebook login through SMS. So I get a text code, an OTP to get you know, to log into another device to unsave a new device, a new browser. So an authentication app. So I have both of them here. I can change the phone number or I can just turn it off. If you do not have the have the current phone number that is given here, you can just turn it off to avoid accidental or losing your logins losing your control over the logins okay so in the authenticator app so you can add another authenticator app or you can just turn it off so there is another backup method where if you 
cannot reach out to your mobile phone or if your mobile phone is not working anymore mobile number is not working or mobile phone is uh, dying uh, out of battery so you can just uh, log in through the recovery codes you can just set them up here and put in your password here and you can simply have some few codes you can just save them on your device somewhere safely uh, out of access to any other people who might be using your computer okay so this is it so come back to the security options settings options security and login that we are discussing here so the authorized logins so authorized logins so the devices that i have authorized for them to log into my facebook and uh, scroll down the news feed texting and whatever you can do on facebook okay so these are the authorized logins and the dates of the corresponding authorized logins here that you can see you can also see if you can suspect some uh, new device for example here the ie on windows so ie on windows chrome on windows i have been logging in from the windows logins in 2013 but when it comes to uh, 2018 and 19 it shows like chrome on mac chrome on windows so chrome on windows to like well 2019 is suspected i don't use my windows computer anymore so someone might be accessing uh, my facebook account from my old windows computer so yeah at, at home actually that was at home uh, so i can suspect that i can just remove this from here and click on that and yeah we can just find this option called remove here click on that remove button okay yeah it's done authorized logins and you can just uh, select multiple logins if you want redmi note 3 that was my old device redmi note 3 see i have this uh, redmi note 3 everywhere and let me just find it. okay i'm also removing that that's it i do not have any more redmi note 3s i believe great so coming to this app passwords so when you are trying to log in with different apps facebook will need to uh, lead you to log in uh, with the same password as of for facebook so that is not safer at all for that you can just create different passwords app passwords for uh, different apps if you click on this generate app passwords it will show you xbox spotify skype so you can log into these applications with a different password, but with your same Facebook account. So that is a kind of security that you don't need to share or enter your Facebook password. Okay, so I'm just clicking on not now for now. I don't want to set up any app for passwords for now. So coming to this uh, setting up extra security, my favorite part, get alerts about unrecognized logins. This is where you, your Facebook accounts comes to uh, safety so when you try to log into a new device so yeah, when you try to log into your new browser so you will get a notification saying that your facebook accounts is being accessed by a new person new location uh, or, or a new device okay so how do you get this uh, notifications i get these notifications on facebook so if i am logged in, logged in into my phone i will get on my phone if I'm logged in uh, in my messenger uh, on my phone, so I'll get messenger notifications and I also get email notifications, which is the best to get. So these two, not apart from these two notifications that you might not have been logged in on your other devices, but you can get this email notification from where you can uh, find uh, where the login is coming from and from which device. I'll show you how this email notification looks like. For that email notifications if you have this email notifications enabled you might have got uh, some email notifications if you feel like your facebook account is being hacked by someone so just go to the other tab just go to gmail.com alert so forth so i'm just searching it for you facebook login alert yes look at that the login alert for safari on mac os x see if you look at that uh, we notice an unusual login from a device or a location you don't really use so was this you 
It happened on August 8, 2020 at 7.20 p.m. near Atmapuri, India, which is obviously my normal regular location. So it's me. I can recognize that. I can review the login. If I click on that, I'll be taken to some page of security. So where uh, this will be showing. So you don't usually log in from this browser, uh, but is this you? So I can just can click on this was me if if you recognize the login just click on this was me if you don't recognize the login just you can just click on this wasn't me that will take you to the necessary steps to change a password or something some other steps that you can set up your account to secure so I'm I have clicked on this this was me and it will show me if I it has to remember the browser next time yes I'm clicking on next and everything is normal I have another login alert here that it is showing I'm just going to another notification as well but no I don't get any notifications I might have already looked at that but this is an old notification from my email if you see I got it from August 8 today is September 10th it's almost a month so I have I might have reviewed it already okay so i'm just closing this down and going back to facebook security page so this option where you can choose three to five friends to contact if your account is logged out so why would your account will be locked out so if you post something uh, that is not uh, in par with the policies with the facebook.com or if you post something if it finds too many logins from different locations or if it finds too many login attempts from different different locations that it might consider as some hacker attempt so for that it will lock out the account and ask you to identify yourself so for that you can just edit this click on edit and you can choose some of your friends three to five friends that you really know in real life do not choose your friends that you met online because that could be a part of a hackers uh, setup so a hacker might have been talking to you from a fake account from the past few months or few days and he might want you to add him as a friend as a trusted friend uh, uh, for this lockout thing because he can also do the same from his side if his accounts his three or four accounts were there in your trusted uh, contact list so he can access the account showing a false identity as you so do not go with this option if you're not sure about your friends if you haven't seen them if you haven't met them in life so do not go with this option unless you know them very well right and advanced option it's encrypted notification emails so you can just also have this uh, encrypted emails through public key and all if you are not an advanced user you if you're just looking at this uh, uh, as, as a, some kind of a geeky stuff do not opt for this option because uh, this is if you don't understand this just don't go with this that's how simple it is so because this is for the encrypted encryptions and all if you don't understand the terms it doesn't make any sense okay so recover external accounts so this is for recovering access to the sites with your Facebook account sometimes we log in uh, with Facebook on different sites that just to avoid uh, the process of sign up right so some sites are not uh, you know what, what you say some sites are not uh, safer at all uh, so that is why you better uh, keep it to minimum uh, the choice of login with Facebook uh, every time you choose to sign up okay so see recent emails from Facebook and click on the view button if you want to check the emails. I don't know why I'm not being taken to this page. Okay. So this is it. When it comes to the security, this is all about the security overview. So I have not touched any advanced options like the encryptions and all. So if you go to the privacy options, you can also check these privacy options here. Uh, check a few important settings privacy shortcuts manage manage things and all I think these privacy options might confuse you with the security and login I'll come up with the next video talking about the privacy options in total 
keep watching Ampus Tech videos. We aim to make technology easier for you to understand and use. Next time, bye-bye.